I mean, when you've got total tyranny coming down on you, folks, you don't roll over to it. If you're getting chased through the woods by a bunch of wolves, you don't roll over and, and start crying to mommy like a dying rabbit. You get a weapon. You face them off. You make them decide you, that you're too dangerous to mess with and move on. You climb a tree. You go in a cave if you don't have a weapon. You don't roll over and say, Mr. Wolfy Wolf, I'm going to kiss you on the lips and, and talk to you like you're my domesticated French bulldog, and we're going to be friends now. Is that okay? Be nice to meet federal government. Be nice ATF. Be nice Federal Reserve. As they put payroll taxes on poor people under Obamacare and cut their hours meant to bankrupt you and hurt your family, they want to kill you if they could. They want to put you in a FEMA camp. They want to reduce your numbers. Stop being naive. We got cancer, folks. Just admit all the radical stuff I said was true because it was already there. I was just aggressive enough to say it. And I'll be honest with you, folks, it's because I'm scared deep down. I, consciously, I'm not scared, but at a subconscious level, I'm scared. And when I get scared, folks, I get aggressive and mean. It's fight or flight. Because I see where this goes historically and in my gut. And man, I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off. They're putting poison in the water on record. And they write books like EcoScience saying they're doing it to hurt us. And I can't get it out of the water. There's no debating this information. It's prima facie. It's on the face. Our guests are with us till about 45 after, and then I'll get to the airline stuff. There's some good news in Russia, ladies and gentlemen. There's some good news in Russia. Ukraine making plans to pull troops out of Crimea on the Russian deadline, so that's a major de-escalation. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian president gives Crimea leaders three hours to release Navy chief or basically threatens action, so I hope nothing happens there. They've had snipers shooting people to blame Russia. It's clear uh, who's running it because the PR operations. Expert believes missing Malaysian Airlines flight being held for ransom. Yeah, governments probably know what happened and aren't telling people. They may have even done it and are doing it as a diversion or some rogue group. I don't know. Uh, here's a headline. Has there been a military cover-up of the missing jet? Thai Air Force says its radar spotted MH370 heading to Strait of Malacca minutes after it vanished. I didn't say anything. Yeah, the, 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 look, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Now, I want to go to our guest, and we're going to skip this network break because I'm going to him late. Here's the headline. Medical marijuana users fight to keep infant daughter. A strong message was sent to the Department of Human Services just four days after Steve and Maria Green of Lansing helplessly watched as her infant daughter, Bree, was taken from their care. A reason given, state-sanctioned medical marijuana users home was too dangerous for a six-month-old because of plants inside. Because they were allowed to legally grow it for medicinal usage, they thought someone might rob them. Ladies and gentlemen, are you going to get robbed for jewelry? Are you going to get robbed for having a watch? How about a Lexus? Again, this is how they just make up. Oh, you had plates in the dishes. Oh, you have dogs. Those are there. Oh, you don't have enough money. Oh, we want your kid. Again... Most Americans have smoked marijuana. Half the population of the country is estimated to smoke marijuana on a routine basis. Now, are you too stoned out there to care? Or are you going to get organized? Because this is going on all over the country. And again, if you got glaucoma or stomach aches or all other problems, it is a great medicine. If used moderately, I don't use it. But I know medically it, 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 is, it, it is very useful. So I'm not judging moderate users of pot. I'm also not endorsing the culture of the people that use it too much. But this... When you go in to have a baby, they have a lot of false positives for THC. They're going to take your kid. Nobody's telling mothers this. They're preying on you. There's not, any, there's not any public service announcements. Hey, don't smoke pot or we'll take your kid when you come in to have it. They want to snatch your baby. They're going to sell it for adoption for a half mil. Now let's go now to our guest to go through the saga of what's happened. Steve and Maria Green. Whose child, whose child was kidnapped by, quote, armed gunmen. The armed gunmen in the case were the police, along with their government officials, not servants, from the state of Michigan. Maria and Steve are medical marijuana because of multiple sclerosis and epilepsy, <coughs> which it's on record helping both. 
but are registered with the state of Michigan, which they use to grab the kid, and submit to random drug test. See, they tell you now you can have your marijuana, but you waive your rights. It's even worse. All this decriminalization is a total fraud. They'll just go back to being illegal. I'm telling you, folks, nothing that comes out of George Soros is going to turn out to be good. Guys, thank you for coming on. Freebabybree.com. Thank you so much. Now you've been hearing me rant about all the things that are going on. Uh, you got the floor. Tell us what happened, what you've gone through, uh, and where this is going, because there is a war uh, against um, legal marijuana users in this country. Yeah, um, thank you for having us on. Um, my husband has been a medical marijuana patient since um, 2010 for his seizures. That uh, He had seizures since 2006. Um, and, you know, this was one of, the, um, one of the only things left for him to try to control his seizures. And it turns out it worked really amazing. Um, he uh, ended up being seizure free um, for quite some time. And um, last summer, uh, t towards the end of the summer, um, I had a bitter ex who called CPS against us um, just to try and gain leverage in a custody case. And um, it spiraled out of control from there. Um, they came to investigate. They wanted to um, count the plants and, um, and, you know, they needed to see the plants and see all the medical records from all of the patients that I grow for and on and on. Um, we even brought them, the, our, our baby at the time was six months old, and we brought the investigator um, to our baby. We showed her um, out on the porch, and she wasn't really even interested in seeing the baby. She just really needed, she really just wanted to see the plants. And um, through the course, of, the course of her investigation, we invited her and her supervisor and the agency um, to get a court order to come into the home because our laws here in Michigan would not allow for um, me to give access to those plants to anybody else. And they left saying, okay, yes, that's what they would do. They would petition the court to enter our home. And um, the morning that that was supposed to happen, they called me and said, you know, I just want to go over one last time whether or not you're going to let us in your house before we petition to remove your kids. And so they pulled this fast one on us and uh, we went into court that afternoon um, with them bringing a petition not to enter the house, but to remove our children. And... Um, and the judge at the time, the referee, um, he heard a little bit of testimony. And in the end, he said that he was really just concerned that there was plants growing in the house. And even though I was legal to do so, um, he thought that that would increase our chances of having armed robbery and that the baby could get hurt. That's an incredible precedent. That if, if you have a nice car or a nice watch or computers or or, 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 or anything they want, now mm -hmm. you've got to have your children taken for safety, of course, mm -hmm. and, and be given to government custody where they're seven times uh, in more danger of everything you can imagine. Yep, absolutely. Um, and it ended up taking us six weeks of fighting her being out of the home. Um, we were able to visit her um, for a couple hours every week. And, uh, and it took us six weeks to be able to get her back. Wow. Uh, just just incredible. And again, how old was your daughter? She was six months at the time she was taken. How, how was her, uh, how was she when you got her back? Most of the time, the children are just lost weight or in critical condition in many cases. Thankfully, she was so young. Um, we did notice that she was quite gun shy, um, didn't like strangers anymore, um, was a little bit uh, more antsy and anxious and that kind of thing. She thankfully snapped out of it relatively quickly. She bounced back against the enemy? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's what these people are, is they're the enemy. We have to recognize that. Uh, so, expanding on this, where did it all go from there? Um, from there, uh, they gave her back to us with the um, condition that we had to do this parenting 
counseling type thing. Um, and as long as we were successful with that, then they would just drop the case altogether. Yeah, but that's usually going to be their people who can then do whatever. So, so, so they act like they're the good guys when they've kidnapped your child. But you guys went public. I think you only got her back. Most parents don't because you went public. Absolutely. Uh, towards the end, when they decided that they were going to give her back, as long as we did these um, these conditions, and they at first gave us a pretty lengthy list of conditions, and we went back to them and said, no, there's some of these you need to change. And they did very quickly. So we got the impression that they just kind of wanted to wash their hands of the whole case. Yeah, they got other kids to grab. They need to move on to. And again, not all family courts are like this. Not all systems are like this. It, it tends to be certain states or counties. But we need to really go after the people that act like this so that judicially it's known as unacceptable in the community mm -hmm. that, you know, either a country supports death penalty, it doesn't support it. It's about a moral decision of the people of the nation. We obviously don't want people taken because they have legal medical marijuana being grown in the home. Big deal. Did, I mean, did George Washington, you know, have his family taken away because he grew it? You know George Washington grew medical marijuana, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. So, I mean, I'm just sick of it. I mean, it, it's known for toothaches. It's known for people that are uh, nauseous, glaucoma. It's known to uh, change the brain waves. Uh, and a lot of people that have epilepsy, as you guys were just talking about. You know, let's talk to your husband, Steve Green. Steve, talk about what it was like when they came, what they did. What was it like to see your daughter taken? Uh, I, mean, I mean, describe that process. And then tell us what it did. Uh, uh, for both of your medical conditions, yeah, as a, you know, as a father and and a husband, you know, you can't imagine uh, the amount of reserve it takes to not, uh, for lack of a better word, clobber them. Um, but when someone's trying to take your children, uh, you know, there's there's nothing but uh, rage that goes through you. Um, but we were, you know, just able to keep collected and stay calm and knowing that you know if, if one of us were arrested for acting irrational um or something like that hey i that, bet the marijuana after they left helped settle you down <laughs> medical <laughs> well, use there is to sedate you <laughs> and so it was uh it was just a nightmare for that to happen but we knew we had to stay that way and shortly after we uh went to the doorsteps of dhs with about 200 people and uh, let's say that up. again. How many people? DHS? Yeah, we went to the, the main office of the DHS with about 200 protesters. But the DHS was involved in this. Yeah, that's uh, the Department of Human Services run CPS in our state. Unbelievable. Uh, please continue with it. And so we, uh, like you said, we hit the press and, and, we uh, made it public because we were outraged and we knew that, you know, most Americans would be. And by the way, anytime somebody takes somebody's child because they smoke marijuana or whatever, we should have people rallying uh, like we're going to Frankenstein's castle to tell them we're not putting up with this scum. I mean, this is what it's about. We hang together or hang separate. You get aggressive, you get a free country back on guns, on marijuana, on parental rights, on father's rights, on everything. People better learn to stand up. I'm sorry I'm ranting, sir. No, no, you're good. You, uh, A lot of things, even in the intro, you hit the nail on the head with prescription drugs. And here in Michigan, if you uh, decide to be a medical marijuana patient, or in my case, have to be, uh, because nothing else worked, then you pretty much give up your right to own a gun. Uh, and in CPS's eyes here in Michigan, if you're a medical marijuana patient, you give up your Fourth Amendment. They're allowed to just come on in and search whatever they want. Whatever. Yeah, see, if, see, if I was having epilepsy, we're going to break. I want to come back and give you the floor. But if I was having epilepsy, I'm not waving my Fourth Amendment. I'll go buy pot on the street. I mean, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that they do this to people, making you waive your rights. Go ahead. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of amazing that they put all these restrictions in place. Um, but yeah, we pushed forward and had a, a great rally. A uh, bunch of women got uh, held, held hands and sang songs. Yeah, I uh, notice it's women standing up in this country most of the time. Go ahead. Yeah, that was, uh, from what I understand, the movement in uh, prohibition of alcohol. And it looks like that's the movement here in uh, medical marijuana and marijuana. Um, 
So it's great to see so many women and, and moms came out from everywhere. We were, you know, getting calls from CPS agents that, that work for the same agency that were saying they were appalled and